High-speed trains are something that we are all amazed about and they are big need in today's world of fast living, supporting transportation systems all around globe. Even though considered as very safe as in any other mode of transportation, accidents happen. Sometimes they are just incidents and smaller accidents, but sometimes they are huge, fatal and disastrous. Today, we are bringing you the compilation of most fatal high-speed train crashes in the world. Livraga derailment We will start with one recent high-speed rail accident that happened on February 6, 2020 in Livraga, Lombardy region in Italy. Train was traveling from Milan to Salerno on a regular service. Somewhere close to Livraga, there was a passing globe, a place where two trains can pass each other in opposite direction on a single railway track. Frecciarossa 100, beautiful red train set number 21, was traveling at a speed of almost 300 km per hour. At the passing globe, track turnout was positioned in diverging position instead of main track. Diverging track speed for that turnout was maximum 100 km per hour, so train was running through diverging part of the turnout three times the design speed. Rail cars decoupled between coach 1 and 2 and coach 1 overturned and hit railway building and maintenance vehicles. Rest of the cars traveled few hundred meters to ballast but stayed upright. Two people died in this accident and more than 30 was injured. Existing turnout was replaced just the night before the accident but it was at reverse position even though it was claimed that position was straight. As of today this is the only high speed train accident in Italy. Grey rig derailment One of the large rail accidents caused by faulty set of turnouts happened on February 23, 2007 in Northwest England. Virgin West Coast Pendolino train was on a regular schedule between London and Glasgow when it derailed just south of the Grey rig. Even though all 9 rail cars derailed, there was only one person that died but almost 90 people was injured with one third having serious injuries. Train was traveling at a speed of 153 km per hour when it approached one of the turnouts that was not in a good position due to low maintenance and missed inspection earlier as well as mechanical failure of a bolted joint. Some people stated that good construction of Pendolino train played main role in low number of fatal cases which was partially true. Marsandis train collision Marsandis train collision happened on December 13, 2018 in a small place Yeni Mahal in Turkey when high-speed passenger train and locomotive collided head-to-head. -head. This caused big fatalities having 9 people died and more than 80 people injured. Main reason behind this accident was wrong track assigning to a high-speed train which apparently went onto the track that was already positioned by another locomotive. Even though high-speed train was traveling at relatively low speed around 90 km per hour, still it was a very high collision force and three rail cars derailed and two more cars were hit by overline footbridge that collapsed. Later on it was stated that lack of com communication between railway personnel and lack of signaling caused trains to collide. Selby Rail Crash Selby Rail Crash, also known as Great Hack Rail Crash, happened on February 28, 2001 in the near Selby in England. High-speed train was traveling from Newcastle to London when it hit Land Rover Defender car which crashed from a highway and went onto the rail tracks. Train was running at the speed of 229 km per hour and derailed after the crash, but some parts of the train went onto the other track of ongoing freight train causing double collision. 10 people were killed and more than 80 people injured. Main reason behind this accident was obstacle on the track, in this case Land Rover car. Car driver was sentenced on 5 year prison and 5 years driving ban. This is one of the largest and most fatal high speed rail accidents in Great Britain. Eckersheim derailment TGV trains are one of the best known high speed trains. When you say high speed train you will most likely think of Shinkansen, TGV or ICE trains. TGV trains have great record of safety with just few derailments since it started operating. However, on November 14, 2015, a TGV train derailed in Eckersheim, France, while performing commissioning trials on the second phase of the LGV East High Speed Rail Line. Even though it was trial ride, there were people on board and derailment caused high fatalities with 11 deaths and 42 people injured. 
train was running at a speed of 265 km per hour in a curve around 90 km per hour above assigned speed. This caused rare boogie of the locomotive car to derail outside of the track due to high centrifugal force. And if you want to know more about this, check this link. Front power unit and rail car splitted, causing front power rail car to overturn and rest of the rail cars derailed as well. Investigation showed that main reason for this accident was late applied brakes before the curve, followed by bad calculation of train decelerating curve. Philadelphia train derailment. On May 12, 2015, an Amtrak Northeast regional train from Washington bound for New York City derailed and wrecked near the Kensington neighborhood of Philadelphia. Train was traveling at a curve with a speed of 164 km per hour despite a loud 80 km per hour. Eight people died but there was more than 200 people injured. Derailment was caused by the train's driver becoming distracted by other radio transmissions and losing situational awareness. It could have been prevented by positive train control, but activation of the same at the wreck site had been delayed due to regulatory requirements. The track in question was also not equipped with automatic train control, which could have also limited the train speed entering the curve. Shortly after the derailment, Amtrak completed ATC installation on the northbound track. All rail cars derailed and wrecked in this accident. Latent train collision. Latent train collision was the first train collision including magnetic levitation trains, in which maglev train collided with the maintenance vehicle in Germany. Accident happened in 2006 during trial period. Even though it was trial ride, there were people on board. 23 people died and 11 was injured. Main reason behind this accident was miscommunication between workers on maintenance vehicle and radio dispatcher as they did not get the signal for track clearance. However, they were unaware of maglev test run and went on the track. Later on, it got hit by maglev train with a speed of nearly 170 km per hour. Nevsky Express Bombing This railway accident was caused by act of terrorism actually. It happened in Russia on November 27, 2009. Nevsky Expert high-speed train was traveling from Moscow to St. Petersburg on a regular schedule, but somewhere in the vicinity of Bologoya town, train derailed due to the bomb explosion that was planted beneath the track. 28 people died in this train accident and more than 100 people got injured. It is interesting that there was one more explosion on the same day later, but also two years back in 2007 on the same train. It was later on discovered that explosive was set by illegal group of English people from Kavkaz. Wenzhou train collision. China is today known as country with the largest high-speed railway network in the world, having almost 40,000 kilometers of high-speed railways. However, 13 years ago, while high-speed railway development was in the beginning, one of the largest railway accidents happened when two high-speed trains collided on a bridge and derailed, while four rail cars fell off the bridge. More than 190 people were injured and 40 people died. There were many controversies regarding these accidents, having the officials even trying to hide that it happened. Main reason for train accident which is reported by officials is signal failure while also mentioning low management. That caused two trains to collide right on the bridge. However, China has recovered well after that accident and today is country leader in high-speed railways and one of the safest railway networks. Santiago de Compostela derailment. This accident happened on July 24, 2013 in Spain when Alvia high-speed train traveling from Madrid to Ferrol derailed at high speed on a curve about 4 km outside of the railway station at Santiago de Compostela. In this high-speed rail accident, 79 people died and 143 was injured. All rail vehicles including locomotive and rail cars derailed, while 4 rail cars flipped over. Main reason for train derailment was speed, as train ran more than double than allowed speed. At the moment of derailment, speed was around 195 km per hour, while speed limitation was 80 km per hour. Train derailments happen on railways mostly because of technical errors or equipment failure, but human factor was involved here. 
train driver was accused for being responsible for this train accident. Even though this was true, question remains why safety automated accident prevention systems for slowing the speeding trains were not positioned here. Esked train derailment Germany's worst high-speed train accident 24 years ago is being remembered at Esked, northeast of Hanover. A high-speed ice train derailed, killing 101 people. Train was traveling from Hamburg to Munich at a speed of 200 km per hour, carrying 287 passengers. In vicinity of small town Esked, one of the rail wheels unwounded from the axle in the boogies due to cracks and drilled through cabin floor. Beside witnessing this, passengers did not apply emergency brakes but called conductor. In the meanwhile, train continued running with damaged wheel until it reached turnout just before the bridge. Turnout caused one of the cars to shift right due to the damaged wheel, derail and hit columns of the bridge, which started collapsing. It pulled one more car which passed the bridge but derailed as well and killed two railway workers. Railway cars ahead managed to apply brakes and stop, but they were jackknifed by remaining back cars. It is interesting that train driver did not realize that there were cars missing until few kilometers ahead. There were some rumors that accident was set by passenger car at the bridge, but later it was found out that main reason was cracks in rimmed wheel that was fatigued already. Until today, this is the largest and most fatal high-speed railway accident in the history. In order to prevent such accidents, as mentioned previously, our task is to develop technology on an even higher level and improve railway safety as much as possible. It is obvious that we need high-speed railways and that they are today's reality in many countries, so we have to make sure that these accidents never happen. Many railway accidents, such as Venju, happened due to the track failure. Therefore, understanding the complexity and system of railway tracks functioning is of highest importance. Me, as a railway engineer, try to contribute to this by letting people know about it and bringing them to railway industry. Thank you very much and until the next video, please make sure to follow me on social media, subscribe to my channel and hit that like button.